Hey everyone, welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Um, today we're now going to um, we're now going to be getting our Ringmon into the third person world. So if I go back, I just want to recover over my save game stuff before we do that. So we have this party save game, which is just a dupe of our encounter save game. And um, the only thing I've added in there is our creature party. Uh, it's the only thing we need to carry forward going into uh, other places. And the other thing is our Ringmon game instance, which I did show before. But it's just, it, all it's doing is it's event save party info, create save game object, Set creature party, set player location, set uh, player rotation, save the party, uh, save file, and then we're save we're saving that game to slot party slot two hundred one. And then in our encounter BP at the end, we're doing get the player it, virus sequence. Now this has to be in front of this one, otherwise this will load the level and this will never get saved. So get player character, cast a third person character. Get target, get the ringmon party, get the actual location, get the actual rotation, and save that party info, which will push that through. So that's everything we need to do to make sure everything is saved before going into um, the encounter world or battle world, etc. Let's close everything down now for now. <clears throat> we'll open up what we need to later. Let's go to our content, let's go to our map, let's get our battle world, so let's go to the grass battle level. <clears throat> Save everything, of course, always save. Um, now, I've got this new spawn in here. Um, we've got the, I've basically duplicated the enemy target spawn and created a party spawn. Uh, that way we can um, call, we can we can make sure we're spawning everything in the correct place is, is the reason why. Uh, open the level blueprint. Now, you'll remember all the old code for the, the encounter, which was getting the actors of the enemy spawn and, and spawning that from the save slot encounter slot 101. And then we update the creature information and they update the mesh. So, what we need to do now is we've created a third string on our sequence. So the player is always the last thing to spawn in, in my opinion. It's more important to spawn in the uh, encounter and then the what's in our party slot. So we're doing the same thing as we did here. We're, we're loading the game from slot, which is party slot, index 201. We're casting to the party save. And we are pulling off that creature party information. We're getting slot. Now, what I should be doing here really is um, doing a check to make sure um, this will come once we've got more than one creature. But we need to check technically that our health is over zero have we got more than zero health is it equal to or over one would probably be what i'd go for and if that's true then i'd spawn this one uh if it's false i would check slot two get its base stats uh and creature information is this health over zero one or zero if it gets to six and zero then it won't spawn anything uh to be honest if we get to zero we would black out and we would have to heal our Pokemon, right? Or Ringmon. So, for now though, just to get it working, we're going for slot one, we're getting that cream stream front, and we're just straight up spawning that uh, into a spawn actor. Uh, from the party save, we'll get all actors of party spawn. We don't need to get one or two because it's always going to be zero. We're not dealing with double battles yet, that's a whole nother kettle of fish. <laughs> but we're just getting zero. Um, we're getting the actor location, the actor rotation, and then we're spawning that actor again using the Ringmon class to drive what spawned. We then need to set the creature info that's in our spawn act, spawned actor. Well, to do that, we set the we we'll pull off from here, get set creature info, and we plug in the creature info that we are using uh, here. Um, yeah, we set that creature info. <clears throat> we then get cast our 
we get player character cast as a third person character and we just need to set that ring mom party to make sure that in the encounter we go through and we have all the information of our party if we need it if we wanted to swap out uh ring mom or anything like that we'd need to know that information so what we do is we just pull from the creature party and we plug that straight into there so it's taking from our safe information the creature's party uh it's then also taking the creature info and setting those after we've spawned this actor and that's all you need to do in order to get the ring mon from the slot one spawned now again it's a whole other kettle of fish when it comes to spawning um health and things like that well no, not spawning health sorry checking to see what uh if a creature is alive or not so what we would have to do is before we spawn it here uh, we could probably pull these two up here for a second. Now, actually, I would probably um, do all this down here, um, like so. And I would pull off here and I'd do a branch. And I'd get slot one, like so. And I would break the information. I would break the base stats. And I would just check that this uh, is equal greater or equal than one and if that was true we could spawn this this creature if it was false we'd have to probably do another spawn and another spawn and another spawn until we get to the one that's got enough health but again we're not dealing with uh any creatures that um multiple creatures at the minute we only have the one right so we're not too worried about that at the minute um we can worry about that at a later date, but that will that will that will have to take place in every trainer battle or, and every encounter we have. We would have to run that to make sure we have a creature that has enough health. But we can put that probably into a function and fire out the. We can then fire out the creature class and the. Um, creature info into uh in uh, from the function so we'll probably set up a function i might do that next episode that that checks the slots for the for a creature that has enough health um but again we're not quite there yet but just doing this method will get you slot one's creature spawned in uh nice and easily um so yeah let's test it out let's go back to our other map <clears throat> corn wellington save selected and just press play i don't need to load in the train I can just press play so at this point what we've got is we've got our party menu like so now i can press t but it won't close the party menu unless i, I click uh, close menu so again i need to make sure when i press t for the second time it removes all widgets um that's one thing i need to update and then would you like to receive her badger let's just say yes for now um and then we can go and sort out our encounter. And then we've got our badger. I keep. I got. I need to change this up. Oh, I need to get a battle menu done as well. And we've got a shiny um, either Tailo or Tailflame. I keep using the Pokemon name Tailo, Tailflame and or Oster. So we've got shiny. I need to update those figures. <laughs> but. Um, but um, yeah, we're uh, we're at a good point um, now. It's just kind of working on a few kind of superficial things, like whether I do the shiny roll for starters, whether I do um, whether I do the health thing. I need to. Well, I, I will need to do that at some point. Uh, but we also want to get um, battling creatures now. We'll start doing some damage. There's a bunch of stuff that we need to do for that, but we'll get there. Um, we need to run a load of formulas now as well, probably to determine what damage we can do and all sorts of stuff. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully this has been really useful to you. Um, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting very close now to having a system that actually can attack and all that stuff. I don't know what's wrong with the water. And I don't really know what's going on in the landscape. They're both a bit bugged out. I need to fix those. But for a tester area, I'm not too worried, to be honest. 
So, yeah. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, don't forget to like, leave a comment with any questions or suggestions. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It's free to do. And, um, yeah, you can always change your mind down the line. So, thanks so much, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye.